Hi guys, welcome back to Tech Tech Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about Imagine AI Art Generator. How to use Imagine AI Art Generator. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now right now, I am currently logged into my Imagine.Art dashboard. And as you can see, there is a few features that we could use. Now you have the common and basic tool, which is of course the text image tool over here. And then you have your image remix, in painting, expand image, and background replace over here. These are the different types of features that you will be able to use and play around with in Imagine AI. Now, what I'm going to be demonstrating in today's video is the text image, the expand image, and the background replace over here. Now, the image remix and in painting is very basic as well. In the image remix, you will be able to reimagine your original photo. So basically, you're going to upload a photo of your own. For example, you have a photo of a car. And then using props, you could change some elements of the car or something like you could change the color of the car by using this image remix. You could even change the style, which will turn a simple car into something fantasy. For example, like this one, a simple uh house over here got turned into something magical just like this and for the in painting this is going to allow you to alter or remove elements from an image by simply masking it and targeting it as you can see here on the preview are like this thumbnail over here now the expand image is very simple as well and the background replace but either way let's start with the original or the main feature of imagine ai which is the text image. So first things first you're going to do when you visit Imagine AI, this is not what you're going to see. You're going to have to log in first before you will be able to see this dashboard. But let's go and click on our text image over here. I have already tested it on image over here. And let's give you a quick guide or like a preview of where the different things are. Over here below, this is where you're going to put in your prompts of your output that you want to produce over here on the right side you have your aspect ratio right now we're using one by one the other aspect ratio such as 9 by 16 or 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 or 3 by 2 is currently locked you will be able to unlock this feature by getting a subscription or a plan with imagine ai and you can select your models over here depending on the model the output would be different as well you can see and some models of course is currently premium you will be able to notif notice or differentiate which models or which features are free by the crowns icon on the top right of the image and then you could add some art styles over here if you want for example we could go with a cinematic render over here the style will give or affect the output a lot because of course it's a style and depending on the style that you want to produce, it will produce a different type of output. Then you have your negative prop over here. Negative prop are basically elements that you don't want to see on your image. For example, over here, if you don't want to see these mountains over here or the spikes, you could put it in the negative prop and it will remove that from your original image. Or it will remove it from the future generations of your output. Now let's go try it out. Let us describe a very simple generation so let's say a house in space or rather on the moon a very simple prop but it could produce a very interesting output and uh, let's click on generate now we have cinematic render over here and imagine for as our model let's see the output that we will be able to produce now as you can see here while waiting for our photo on the top you will be able to quickly navigate it between the different features over here you can see and then you have your output over here as you can see it's not the output that i'm trying to produce but as you can see you will be able to produce amazing outputs either way now the output that it produced is a house and behind it is the boot so uh, that's not what i want to produce but regardless it's a very interesting output now let's create a huge cover with a dragon inside uh, let's add some uh, details a huge dark tavern with a dragon uh let's say a violet dragon inside sleeping on top of gold 
and let's click on generate let's see the output that we will be able to produce with our very unique crop over here and let's see if it will be able to produce results that we would like and there we go now it did not create the gold over here or sleeping but you can see it has the potential to produce amazing results and that's basically it for the image generation you simply go to enter the prop that you want to see and it will try its best to produce the output that you are asking it to do now let's go and check out our expand image over here let's open this up and let's try it out and see if we will be able to uh demonstrate how you will be able to expand an image and you can also follow it up with the background replace over here let me refresh our website over here it's a bit unresponsive to our interaction so let's give it some time to load go and let's select this or any of this uh i guess we could play with the remix i don't think the expand image is available right now and the background replaced since it's not responding to our select over here but either way let's go and i guess do in painting instead or magic remix in painting is not working either so let's go with mad image remix over here so what you're going to do is you're going to add your image simply select the image that you want to add then let's select an image that over here uh maybe let's go with this one click on the video then you could crop your image to see which part of the image that you want to actually see since it's a one by one we're going to have that and then what we can do is let's say a waterfall there you go then click on generate our original image is like the mountain let's see what type of output we will be able to produce with a simple prompt called a waterfall then after this let's add something unique maybe mountain made of gold or something like that or we could turn it into a night sky and there we go we have our output over here uh it's a bit different from our original photo it has some grish or green vegetable life over here although you could see the shape of the mountain very much present uh if you want it to remain as original as possible you will be able to modify the image strength over here so let's increase this to at least 55 then click on generate and let's see the output that we will produce in our second try now after this one uh, you will be able to download the images that you have produced as well. Uh, I'm going to show you after this image is generated. But as you can see, our original image is very close. Uh, I don't think we could view it anymore. But our original image is very close to this one now. Uh, we could change it a uh, waterfall of lava, something like that. And if you want to download your image, you can simply click on download right here. Let's generate our output this time. Let's see the output that we will be able to produce. Now I really like how this Imagine AI is able to keep the original image and produce amazing results either way. And there we go. A waterfall of lava or let's say volcano. You could add more details to your generation. I'm just sticking with simple prompts to see how I could change my very simple image and its elements. So this is our last generation for today. And let's see the output that we will be able to produce. Now there are other settings over here on the right side. I did not go over them since it's a bit confusing for beginners and some of the features we can't access either way. But if you want to learn what each of these settings mean, if you hover on the eye icon, you will be able to see like instructions of what these features or these settings would mean. So uh, let's wait for our last image to generate over here before we end our video. And there we go, we now have uh, some sort of a volcano with our original image over here as the reference. So that's basically it guys, if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.